Okay, so he was selling whiskey, and the temperance folks held a town meeting and gave speeches to encourage continued temperance in Lompoc. And specifically, they reported on how they had been trying to convince George Walker to see the errors of his ways. <laughs> but, you this know, is, this alcohol is, is, all, is big, big money. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the saloon owner. Yeah, okay. the saloon owner. Yeah. And it, it wasn't enough to convince him, of course. But <laughs> um, so at 11 p.m. on May 20th of 1881... The teetotalers put a bomb in Walker's <gasps> saloon and blew it up. No! Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. At 11 o'clock at night? Yeah. Was he open? Were there people there? No. Okay. So, <laughs> I guess saloons weren't open as late as we... I didn't look up what day oh, of yeah, the I week this was. It might have been a weekday. But um, the teetotalers, the sober temperance people, didn't admit it exactly. And they actually sort of gaslit all the alcohol fans in town. And they would be like... Well, what happened? What was that enormous explosion? The oh entire gosh. town could hear because the whole town could hear it. Yeah, the saloon blew up. Like that is uh, crazy. <laughs> what are the it must odds? have been an earthquake or maybe the Russians, like that kind of thing. Uh, the Lompoc Record newspaper at that time ran this weirdly threatening sort of announcement that read. Whether it was done by an earthquake or a nihilist from Russia, it is impossible to say, <laughs> as no inquest has been held. <laughs> no one is killed, missing, or wounded. Okay, good. Anyone looking for a location for a saloon had better not select a temperance community where public sentiment is so nearly unanimous against saloons oh, and where earthquakes are so prevalent and destructive. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Like oh, I mean, I, I admire, I admire the <laughs> passive aggression of that, right? So that was the bombing. 